We decide! The signs say it all. <laughs> Myths about women, sex, and consent, which appear to persist. This is a concept anyone in a courtroom should know. Even in Canada's courtrooms, when judges are supposed to know the law. In the last 18 months, Canadians have taken to the streets to vent about what they consider outrageous, outdated, and outright sexist judicial comments. Why couldn't you just keep your knees together? I am not convinced she clearly expressed her objections. She did not scream, she did not run for help. At no point did she ever mention this to a friend. Clearly, a drunk can consent. A possible solution, judge school. This week, CBC News was given exclusive access. Canada's newest federally appointed judges are learning the ropes and brushing up on the law, including Canada's sexual assault laws. The continuing low reporting rate, the fact that very few cases go to trial. Retired BC Supreme Court Justice Lynn Smith also addressed discredited rape myths. That honorable women scream and fight back, they don't freeze. That victims immediately tell police that women who've had more partners are less credible. It didn't matter how the girl was dressed. Um, it didn't matter that she didn't physically, strenuously resist the sexual activity. She said no, she said stop, and she never said yes or go ahead. Hey neighbor, don't drink too many of those. Remember, a drunk can consent. Oh, you piece of... Canadians have shared this video millions of times, getting a kick out of ridiculing judges for poor judgment. Chief Justice Neil Whitman says most judges strive to get it right. There's uh, education, uh, and uh, then there is an understanding, in other words, getting it. Interim Conservative leader Ron Ambrose has introduced a bill that would require everyone who wants to be a judge to take in-depth training on sexual assault. The training exists. I just want you to take it. Take it. It's there for you. Some judges, though, feel mandatory education is a threat. Ambrose has no patience for the naysayers. I say that's crazy. That's rubbish. It's ludicrous. Because the bill itself... Um, at, you know, mandates lawyers who want to be appointed to the judge. So if you are a lawyer and you never want to be a judge, you'll never have to deal with this. This year's federal budget includes almost $3 million for judicial education. Justice Adele can't hope some will be invested in online education. In the last year, it's become apparent that if we could offer some electronic resources um, to judges to watch in their chambers in sexual assault trials, how to manage them, rape myths and stereotypes, the law, as you heard about this morning, uh, that would be helpful. In a workshop after our cameras left the room, the new judges were asked what advice they'd give to a close female friend, relative or co-worker who'd been sexually assaulted and wanted to go to police to press criminal charges. For the longest time, no one said a word. Finally, when some did raise their hands, some said they weren't sure, and others said they'd only feel comfortable sending that woman to support services. Alison Crawford, CBC News, Ottawa.